The total value locked in the SUI blockchain network surpassed $1 billion just last week, and it's showing no signs of slowing down. And that's now being reflected in the price of the SUI coin, which is currently peaking near all-time high values. But because it's peaking at all-time high values, that means the risk to reward profile for SUI is not as favorable as it once was even just two months ago. So is there a way for you to gain exposure to the SUI blockchain, to the SUI network without purchasing and investing in the SUI coin? Well, there might be. Just like Aerodrome Finance gave you exposure to the base network because the base network doesn't have its own coin yet, this project that I want to review in today's video offers something very similar to Aerodrome Finance, and we all know how well that has done over the last 12 months. So in this video, I want to cover what's known as the Cetus Protocol. If you enjoyed the video today, please hit the like button down below. It really helps the channel out. I would love to have you as a subscriber on the channel. And if you don't want to miss out on future videos, hit the bell notification icon too. And if you enjoy deep dives like this, but you also want a crypto ally to help navigate this crazy market in terms of figuring out what are the key signals that you need to pay attention to, what is driving the markets, then I put out my AC20 newsletter on a weekly basis to do just that, to try and break down what the key signals are from the previous week so that we can set ourselves up for not just the week ahead, but also in terms of the long-term plan and future for the crypto markets. So if that sounds of interest, then the link to that is in the description down below. And with all of that out of the way, let's now take a look at the Cetus protocol. So Cetus is a decentralized exchange and liquidity protocol that's been designed specifically for move protocols. And by that, I mean the move programming language. And the move programming language is used by the likes of SUI and also Aptos. So it's specifically designed for those two blockchains. And its aim is to offer a simple and efficient platform that allows users to swap digital assets within those two ecosystems. But to try and set itself apart from other DEX protocols that exist in the crypto sphere, it has focused on providing something called concentrated liquidity. So rather than just a simple DEX, Cetus is known as a concentrated liquidity market maker, which is CLMM for short. That is quite a mouthful still. So what does that actually mean? Now, the idea here is that unlike regular automated market makers, so regular DEXs that we have in the ecosystem, liquidity providers in this concentrated liquidity, DEX can provide liquidity at custom price ranges within a specific pool. So you can choose, a liquidity provider can choose a certain price range within which they can provide that liquidity. As a result, the tokens provided can be more efficiently used and therefore should generate more fees for liquidity providers. And the example that they give is in a uh, for a stable coin swap pool, the um, number of trades are going to take place within the range between 99 cents and maybe $1 and one cents for a stable coin pool because it's stable. That's where all the transactions, that's where all the swaps are going to take place. So it makes sense to have your liquidity positioned around that price range rather than all the way up the curve because the rest of the curve won't be used. Now the stable coin example is a very, very specific niche example, but there are also certain ranges within other liquidity pools that might see more trading action. And then interestingly, every liquidity position on Cetus is then represented by a position NFT that accrues all the fees. So the use of concentrated liquidity means that alongside standard swaps, now the use of concentrated liquidity means that alongside standard swaps, Cetus is able to offer a range of other trading options, including limit orders. It can also do take profit orders and also buy limit orders. In addition to trading, Cetus offers then a range of other features, including the likes of putting liquidity into liquidity pools. You can also farm liquidity tokens to earn APYs. You can use a... Um, bridge that Cetus offers in, in connection with a, a partnership with Wormhole. So you can bridge tokens into Cetus and are into the SUI network. You can also use Cetus's launchpad. So they have a launchpad for new and upcoming projects. Now, when we look at Cetus's history, unfortunately, there is very little information regarding Cetus's origin story. So after launching in 2022, it completed its first seed and public investment rounds in May of 2023. And that was just before the token generation event and its distribution. It then had a further strategic investment round that took place in February of 2024. And in terms of some of the backers that we have behind the Cetus protocol, there are some pretty big names. We've got OKX Ventures, Qcoin Ventures. We have Animoca Ventures, Coin98 Ventures, Gate.io Labs. So there are some big 
VC backers behind the CETUS protocol. But then just briefly coming back to the founders, there wasn't a massive amount of information that I could find on the founders. One of the only few articles I could find that mentions a founder is this one from Coinbase and it's in involving a Coinbase on-ramp partnership with CETUS. And it mentions a founder here called Henry Du, which is the co-founder of the CETUS protocol. Then when you search for him or CETUS in LinkedIn, there is a profile for Henry Du, no mention of CETUS protocol, but there is a mention of Miso Labs. And then when you go on to Miso Labs, it says that the Miso Labs is a de decentralized finance lab. So it's focused on DeFi. But again, there is no real connection here that states that it is behind CETUS protocol. Now, CETUS is the native cryptocurrency token of the CETUS protocol, and its utility is very similar to most other DeFi tokens out there. So it's intended to be used as the medium of exchange within the protocol. It's also used to provide economic incentives for those looking to provide liquidity to the CETUS ecosystem. And it's important to remember that this is a dual token ecosystem. So the dual token ecosystem also includes X CETUS which is used, that's the token that is used for governance. So the current market cap of CETUS is standing at $45 million. In terms of circulating supply, we have 280 million CETUS tokens in circulating supply, of which there is a maximum supply of 1 billion tokens. So we've only got 28% of all tokens currently in supply. And then in terms of price action, we can see that we had the token generation event last year in May of 2023, and Arguably, it's ranged since then. We've had a peak when we had a um, bullish phase from October 2023 up to March 2024. We then had a pullback over the summer. But more, most recently, when we've seen interest in the SUI blockchain explode, Cetus has done quite well off the back of that and has just recently posted a new all-time high at 23 cents. It's currently trading down now at 16 cents. And then looking at the distribution very quickly, 50% of all tokens were allocated to the community and liquidity providers. 20% have been allocated to the team and advisors. 15% were allocated to investors and a further 15% was allocated to the liquidity treasury. And now we come to the part of the video where we need to analyze both the upsides and risks of the CETUS protocol. Yes, this is a protocol that could offer exposure to the SUI network. It could be a SUI beta play, but what are the things that could drive the demand for the CETUS token higher? And likewise, what are the things that could hurt the demand of the CETUS token, which would then cause the price of CETUS to fall? And the first thing that I want to mention is that the CETUS protocol is the leading decentralized exchange in the SUI network to date. When we head over to DeFi Llama onto the SUI tab and we scroll down, we can see that the CETUS AMM, so the CETUS DEX, is currently the second largest application within the SUI network. So if the SUI network continues to grow, the CETUS protocol is positioning itself as the go-to for those looking to explore, trade, and swap tokens in the SUI ecosystem. So more demand for the platform results in a greater demand then for the CETUS token. And then again, on DeFi Llama, we can see that currently the total value locked in the CETUS protocol is nearing all-time high levels of $218 million. It's literally just peaked to all-time high levels this week. And it is currently ranked, as I've mentioned, the sec as the second most liquid protocol on the SUI network, and it's the highest ranking DEX. And when we look at the chart, we can see that the value locked within this CETUS protocol has just almost, apart from a small pullback between June and August, has pretty much climbed consistently since it was first launched. And then another upside that's worth discussing is that the price of the CETUS token now is not that far off when it was first generated. So we can see here that the token generation and distribution happened with a public listing of 14 cents. We've just seen that the token is currently trading at 16 cents. So it's very, very close to the token generation price. And it's not a million miles away from the public sale price, which happened at 5 cents. It's only a 3x currently. So for those that were entered, entered at the public sale price, they aren't that high in terms of returns on investment. That means I would expect most early holders are still waiting for higher prices, which means there's less risk of near-term dumpage at least. And then finally, despite being at all-time high prices, this is only still a $50 million micro cap coin, which means that there is considerable room for upside still. And if SUI continues to grow, and we compare it to the likes of an Aerodrome Finance, which I mentioned at the start of this video, if CETUS commanded a similar market cap to Aerodrome Finance, the price of the CETUS token would 
rise to $2.58 with its current market cap, which is a 15X. If it went to Aerodrome's all-time high, it would increase the token price to $2.92, which is almost an 18X in price. And Aerodrome Finance currently is commanding a market cap of approximately $1 billion, which isn't out of the realms of possibility for any decks in the crypto sphere. And then next we come to the risks. What are the risks that could strip demand away from the Cetus token? And like a lot of projects that I've covered in the past, Cetus is unlikely a token that you'll want to be hodling for the long run. With only 28% of the tokens currently in circulation, over 700 million are still left to enter circulation. And as always, if increased demand isn't there to meet that increased supply, the price of Cetus is going to fall in the future. And then next up, it's important to talk about this, what the Cetus protocol is. It is an application that is reliant on smart contracts and smart contracts that are programmed by humans. And that means that they can make mistakes like we've seen with many applications in the past. Although the protoc protocol has been audited by the likes of Ottersec and Movebit, errors or hacks can still occur on any smart contract platform. So if that happens, the Cetus token is going to suffer. And then it's important to consider that the Cetus protocol is reliant on the success of the SUI blockchain network. If the SUI network falls behind its competitors, the likes of Solana, Aptos, Ton, they're all moving in the same similar pool. There will be reduced need for a protocol like the Cetus protocol and therefore less need overall for the Cetus token. And then finally, the last red flag for me on this one is that the specific origin of Cetus and its founders is pretty ambiguous. It's really not that well known, which is a slight concern. So for any investment into Cetus, you need to take into consideration that we know very little about what's going on behind the scenes here. And that is everything that I have on the Cetus protocol. It's a really interesting play and it could offer something special in terms of what Aerodrome Finance did for the base ecosystem. But as we've just been through, it has its risks. But do the potential upsides outweigh those risks? Should it make it to an altcoin shortlist? And if it dips, should you then take advantage of those favorable exchange rates in the future? As always, I save my personal opinions on whether these kinds of altcoins should be added to an altcoin shortlist for my AC20 newsletter subscribers. So if you want my opinions on altcoins like this, whether you should be investing in them or not. The AC20 newsletter is the place to head to. And as I mentioned before, I'll leave a link to that in the description down below. But let me know what you think. Do you think the Cetus token is a good way, a good beta play in order to gain exposure to the SUI network? Or do you think it's just far less risky to just then invest in the SUI coin itself and hope that that continues to increase in price? over the next six to 12 months. As always, what's important is that you do your own research before investing in any of these altcoins. It is a highly speculative market and cryptocurrencies should be a small part of an overall portfolio. They should be considered alongside other investment assets. Ping me a comment or a message if you have altcoins that you'd like me to cover and deep dive. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.